Hey everyone, Droid Doc. I'm um, going to show you today how to uh, update the ROMs on your multi ROM. For example, if you have Paranoid Android and you get an update, uh, some of you may know how to update it, some of you may not. Or if you have AOKP, CM10, whatever, I'll show you how to update it. First thing we're going to take note of is look at this number here. That's my temperature. Isn't that horrible? Just a thought. Okay, so um, now when I get updates on Paranoid Android, it comes through uh, the Goo Manager app. A lot of these new ROMs have Goo Manager. So if you're going to have an update, usually it'll give you a notification. You go ahead and download it, and then um, you don't know what to do with the file. Well, when you, when you download updates, it actually goes to your Goo Manager file. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is Paranoid Android. It would work the same for AOKP, CM10, and the other ROMs that you have flashed on your multi-ROM. I'm going to show you how to do it real quick with Paranoid Android. Oh, let's use Quick Boot. It's easier. And Recovery. And then I'll explain a little bit about how it works. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is go into Advanced and Multi-ROM. Um, anytime we're talking about updating a ROM, naturally we're not going to go to an Add ROM. Uh, adding a ROM means you're putting a new ROM on your device. Uh, you're installing a brand new one. Uh, what we want to do in order to uh, flash an update that for a current ROM that you have is we want to go to the list. So let's list ROMs and in this case I'm going to say we're going to update my Paranoid Android. Now in order to update Paranoid Android or you would do the same for your AOKP ROM we're just going to go to flash zip and then you would want to find, let's see, SD card, uh, you'd want to find your Goo Manager if that's what it downloaded in, or if you download it on your computer and put it in your downloads file. But if you use Goo Manager, it's going to be in your Goo Manager folder. Now, my folder currently has a whole lot of updates, so what you would do is pick the most recent update that you just downloaded. Mine would be the uh, January 14, 2013. I just tap that and then just swipe to confirm the flash. That's it. That's how you update your uh, your ROM. Um, now I'm not going to do that because I already updated mine. I did that a few days back. But it's actually very easy. Another really handy thing if you guys haven't looked into this is when you go into your multi-ROM, uh, go into settings, and you can actually select a ROM to auto boot into and then select the amount of seconds that it takes to auto boot into it. So I have mine set to where it boots into uh, Paranoid Android and it only waits about five seconds. So it's really, really handy. Uh, just a, something I'd throw in there. I thought I'd throw in there real fast. So I'll show you how that works. And then that'll be the end. You'll see it'll just pop up a screen that says um, letting you know it's going to auto boot. Now you can touch the screen anytime to cancel if you want to pick something else. But since I use that most of the time, that works out nicely. And that's it. So again, to install a, uh, an update, you just go to Advanced Multi-ROM, you list the ROMs, select the ROM you're wanting to update, and then just go to Flash Zip and locate the folder uh, that actually contains the update and flash it. And uh, make sure, of course, you're flashing the update for the correct ROM. You wouldn't want to hit Paranoid Android and then flash an AOKP zip on there. That wouldn't be compatible. It wouldn't work. So, okay guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any other requests, let me know. Thanks.